We're here today at the uh, Algae Technology Sponsored Bed Bug Preventive Symposium here in Florida. Actually, we're in beautiful downtown Orlando today. And we're here with Drs. Phil Kaler, University of Florida, um, endowed professor at University of Florida Gainesville, and Dr. Jim Ballard of Ballard Consulting. And I thought it'd be nice today just to have a little repartee, a little go back and forth about Active Guard and some of the applications of Active Guard, since both gentlemen here as investigators have worked with the product in the past. And I'm curious, uh, I'll start off with Phil, please. Um, Phil, what has your experience been in terms of where you see the application of Active Guard in various aspects of bed bug control? Well, of course, bed bug control is is actually a pest management program that is composed of several different strategies. Of course, the first part of that strategy is kind of like the base of a pyramid, that, uh, like what we have for like even food, that we have the food pyramid. Right. We also have a pest management pyramid where the base of that is education and prevention. And I look at the, the Active Guard liners as a very good way to uh, to be a part of that uh, pyramid right at the base where we're trying to prevent infestations. Do you see that Active Guard and maybe what we're working with with environmentally low impact products like Semexa, do you think that Active Guard and Semexa in the right strategy can make a significant change in effectively controlling bed bugs in those populations? I, th I think that it can. Uh, again, it comes back to having IPM programs put together with, with the pro a proper insecticides that can last long enough to back it up. Part of the biggest problem in multifamily housing, low income housing, is having a plan in place, a program in place, but s keeping it moving sustainably so that the aspects of the program that are being used to control bed bugs um, are continue to be paid attention to and continue to be utilized. So, so often, a year down the road, things disintegrate, somebody gets transferred, and the programs die. So it's, it's sustainability of a program that's as important as anything else. And if you have products that can be sustained in the, in the use to control dead bugs, that's even better. And I think we have those products today. 